Zahid Baloch is a student and the ex-chairman of Baloch Student Organization Azad. He was abducted by Pakistan's secret agency from satellite town Quetta on March 18, 2014. It's been 1,095 days since his abduction and his whereabouts are still unknown. Karima Baloch, chairperson of BSO Azad, along with three other central leaders, are eyewitnesses of Zahid's abduction. Zahid is a resident of Nal, district Kuzdar, and a son of Elahi Baksh. He completed his basic education from high school Nal in Kuzdar. He continued his higher education in Karachi. Zahid Baloch was a student of political science at the University of Karachi. Yes, my name is Zahid Baloch. I am BSO Azad Secretary General and I am in Karachi University. Yes, I am a student of BS Political Science. But he left his studies when Pakistan started its kill and dump policy against Baloch political leaders and activists. Six months before his abduction, he said in an interview with Shah Zeb, correspondent of the BBC, that Pakistani forces have abducted and killed many of his friends, and if he was caught, he too will be abducted and killed. <laughs> Pakistani soldiers have tortured and killed several of my comrades, and when they find me, they will kill me too. But that's not going to stop our struggle for a free Balochistan. Karima Baloch revealed his abduction a month later during a press conference at the Karachi Press Club on April 22, 2014. She announced worldwide demonstrations for the safe recovery of Zahid Baloch. Latif Johar, central leader of BSO Azad, went on a hunger strike resulting in near death for the safe recovery of Zahid Baloch. Zarajan, wife of Zahid, tried to lodge a first information report in Satellite Town Quetta Police Station. However, the police denied to file any report. Zahid Baloch is missing, and we know nothing of his whereabouts. We have approached the Satellite Town Quetta Police Station several times to register an FIR regarding Zahid's abduction. But our requests were turned down every time. They told us clearly that they cannot register an FIR against state agencies. Then we filed a petition in Baluchistan High Court and they ordered the police to register the FIR. After this, we have approached several institutes of justice, including police and high court, but have ended up with nothing but despair. It was only until Zarjan submitted a court petition in High Court Balochistan did the police file of FIR on the order of the court. To this day, no one has heard from Zaid, and to make matters worse, thousands of others have been abducted. Balochistan's ex-chief minister, Dr. Abdul Malik, visited Latif Johar during his hunger strike. Dr. Malik knew and worked with Zahid as a political worker, however, he sadly admitted that he was unable to do anything as the Pakistani army abduct as they will. Sarfaraz Bukti, the interior minister of Balochistan, denied Zahid's existence during an interview with BBC. I don't know if Zahid is there or Zahid Baloch is not a man who is not a man. However, the very next day, he went on to social media with threats that everyone should learn from the abduction of Zahid Baloch. Protests and demonstrations were carried out in Balochistan and worldwide for the recovery of Zahid Baloch. Amnesty International, Asian Human Rights Commission, Human Rights Watch, International Court of Jurists, 
Human Rights Council of Pakistan, Baloch Human Rights Organization, and many other international human rights organizations condemned Zahi's abduction and appealed to Pakistan to take steps for his safe recovery. Instead of Zahid's safe recovery, Biaso Azad and many other activists and leaders are continuing to be abducted by Pakistani forces. Shabir Baloch, Information Secretary of Biaso Azad, was abducted by forces from Gwarkup on October 4, 2016, and is still missing. Hassel and Kumar were abducted and unrightfully assassinated. Rasul John was abducted from Atasha Degree College, Durbat, and then killed. Zakir Majid was abducted in June of 2009 and is still missing. Raza Jahangir was killed on August 14, 2013. Similarly, Kambar Chakar, Elias Nizar, Kayyum Baloch, Shafi Baloch, and hundreds of other members were abducted and killed. Due to the silence of international organizations in democratic countries, Pakistan is not releasing the abductees, nor has it stopped killing Baloch political workers, leaders, human rights activists, and educators. The Pakistani military is running a mere policy as applied in Bangladesh in 1971 in terms of abductions and murders of a marginalized minority. We appeal to the civilized world to end their silence and help us in the recovery of thousands of abducted Baloch people, including Zahid Baloch.